Hi, I'm uh, I'm Colin Field. I'm one of the co-directors of the film called The Horseman, and um, there were two two other partners that I had, and and this was a film that um, we created in a very short period of time, over a couple of days, as a challenge within a, a filmmaking program I was doing at the Banff Center for the Arts out in Alberta, and uh, it's called The Horseman, and it's about a retired paramedic uh, who spent his whole career in Banff and a very stressful uh, stressful job. But as you'll see through the film, his work with horses was something that really helped him through um, through that whole period and and since then. And, and he uses his work with horses to help uh, help young people as well. Would you like to introduce yourself, Brad? Yeah, uh, Colin, it's great to meet you. Uh, my name is Brad Spencer. I'm the uh, director of uh, Home Plate. And uh, it's a short based on uh, La Bat Memorial Park here in London, Ontario. Um, I'm born and raised in London, Ontario myself, and uh, it's it's a film that I've been wanting to do for, for a few years, uh, so super excited for everybody to get to see it. Um, Colin, I, I really loved your film. Um, I thought your film was super, super great, um, uh, and very surprising that you were able to get in such an Im impactful and Im empowering story in such a short amount of time. I thought that was extremely impressive, um, but also the intimacy that you were able to get with the horse um, and really see and understand the relationship between, um, you know, this retired horseman and, and the horse and what it does for him. I thought it was inspiring and, and, and amazing. Um, so I'm excited for audiences to, to see your film. Well, great. Thank, thank you very much. I'm glad it had the impact. It's, it was, it was hard as you know, and that's the question that I had I mean, in terms of, we had a conversation probably lasted an hour and a half and the film's only two and a half minutes right and so to kind of go from all the potential areas uh to to what was really at the core um and the emotional core um was was the challenge but also i think that's what that's what is the success of it um yeah. but I, I i was curious about your film as well because i was one of the judges at uh i think you're aware at uh, fanshawe college and we selected uh, unanimously that that yours was the best documentary so i'm really excited that it has a broader audience out at the Forest City Film Festival. But one of the things we talked about, how ambitious that story was, because it's 150 year history, I believe, and so many different dimensions. So maybe, can you talk to me a little bit about how you were able to to, to narrow down what we, you were trying to accomplish in terms of the kind of the the core of that film uh, yeah so so like you said uh thank you again so much for for selecting the film uh through as the, the the student film festival at uh, fanshawe college that uh, i just graduated from last year and uh, yeah so thank you again for for picking it for best doc for for the film festival is awesome super excited to like you said to get a br bigger broader audience um through the four city film festival and you know the film there's there's so much going on in, in 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 you know my mind when i thought about making the film it's something that i've been wanting to do for a few years um i have fond memories you know as a kid going to labat memorial park seeing the majors seeing you know older teams like like the wolves the werewolves and it was just the magic of the park that that captivated me um and what it was like to experience a baseball game running the bases you know watching these players play um it's just something unique about that park um, and that has always stuck with me throughout my life um, you know living in London now for over 30 years it's something that I'm very proud of that's in London uh, and something that I really wanted to share with the city and, and even a greater audience outside of the city but it truly is kind of a, a love letter to London because I'm very proud of our city uh, and proud that that treasure is in our city and we have been able to preserve it for so long uh, because it was erected in uh, 1877 uh, and is currently registered with the Guinness Book of World Records as the oldest operating baseball grounds in the world. Um, so like you said, a giant story. Um, but throughout the process, once I realized that the park is is our main character and you know there's the london majors that have been there since 1925 they were kind of the secondary character but a huge part of it because they've been there for so long and it's their home um it was super super great to to be able to tell that story and i can't wait for everybody to to see it yeah one of the things i think the similarities right between the films you have these beautiful um, drone shots and high level view uh, as you get a real sense of the perspective and the history, but then also really, you know, fine details and from all these different points of view. And we tried to do something similar with the details of the of, of the horseman and the horse in, in their environment 
with some of the you know vista shots that are near Banff National Park in the middle of the winter time that are spectacular you know scenery to 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 um, to be able to film. But the other thing that I loved about your film is that, you know it's about a a baseball diamond and a team, but the the characters that you brought in from all these different angles. They, people were just so touched by their experience, whether they worked there, whether they played there, whether they, you know, attended. And so there, there's that emotional, um, you know, impact that it, that it has as well. That's what that's what I, I went in expecting one thing and I came out feeling feeling something different. And it makes me, you know, not only enjoying the film and remembering the film, but wanting to go to the park, bring my friends and family there and go and you know, have a piece of that myself. Yeah, yeah, I love it. I love it. And I love that, that it had that impact on you. Uh, it's, it was super great, super great to, to create. And like I said, something that I've been wanting to make for a while. And um, yeah, like I said, super, super great to see your film. And um, I think it's really going to hit home with, with the audience, the impact that, that this, you know, retired man has had with, with his horses and what he's doing with that. So super, super excited for everybody to see it. So um, this is happening in a shorts bundle, actually. Uh, ironically, we are paired together with a few other short films uh, called the Inspiring Youth Program. Uh, and it's happening Friday, October 20th at 12.15 p.m. at the Wolf Performance Hall. Uh, and it's going to be a great time. And I can't wait for everybody to, to see our films. It's going to be great. Yeah, I look forward to meeting you in person and seeing your film on the big screen. That'll be great. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Have a wonderful night. Take care. Bye-bye. Cheers.